Good morning, John. Michael Beach. Michael. Hi, John. Bob Skelly. Hey, Bob. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for joining us here on the Cube. Our pleasure. Uh, Thanks for having us. <laughs> Thank you very much. Is this your first time on the Cube? Yes. Okay. It's mine. So. Absolutely. Basically, we just want to learn more about what you're doing. We want to hear. Uh, we want to hear what's new and exciting for you. We want to talk a little bit about the uh, integration and uh, channel strategy. You guys were both involved in in, in channel. We uh, were uh, indeed enabling a very loyal channel, as I, as I understand it. Yep, indeed. Uh, I think Phil said he was almost in tears talking about one of his uh, customers, uh, his channel partners, this morning. So uh, sounds so, like Phil. So <laughs> he's very touchy feely, and then yes. we had Darren talking. Darren Thomas is talking about charitable giving. So, yeah. so, uh, so, so, tell me your role and, and sure. So before the acquisition, I was vice president of uh, sales and channel operations for Compellent, and since uh, February twenty second, when Dell acquired Compellent, I've been working uh, primarily on integration of our channel programs with Bob and some of the other folks in the GCC organization and uh, continue to manage things for uh, Dell for the compellent business like order management and after point of sale support renewals mm -hmm. and uh, channel operations, deal registrations, things like that. Yeah, okay. And and uh, I joined Dell three, little, three and a half years ago, almost four years ago as part of the Equalogic acquisition. Okay. So uh, I was uh, running channels for Equalogic, came on to run the Global Certified Partner Program and Channel at Dell. And Michael and I worked very closely together as uh, as we integrated uh, the Compellent acquisition as well. So continue to run the Certified Partner Program, bringing in all of those uh, Compellent resellers into our Storage Certified Program as preferred and premier partners and trying to bring some great programs out to them. What's it take to become a preferred uh, premier partner, certified partner, premier partner? Yeah, so we have um, multiple certification areas, storage, server, networking and security, systems yeah. management, and managed services. And okay. we ask a partner to invest in one of those competencies through sales and technical training yep. and uh, complete that tra training and, and uh, that gets you to our preferred partner level. And then if you uh, uh, invest in multiple certification areas and, uh, and you have a higher revenue threshold with Dell and you've made some other commitments around some solutions training, you can actually be a premier partner. With okay, Dell. okay. How many how many premier partners does, uh, does do you have today? We have uh, 2,500 preferred partners or certified partners globally, yep. and about 10 percent of those are premier. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. So, what should we be paying attention to here at the at the show? What's from from your perspective? What's the biggest thing? There's an awful lot of buzz here at the show. I'm hearing from channel partners that. Uh, are very excited now to have the full Dell storage platform to be able to sell. Partners who used to be just a compellent partner, partners who maybe were just an Equalogic partner previously, are learning a lot this week about the other product families and the enormous opportunity that's out there to solve more customer problems. And uh, I've had a couple of people today tell me about how evangelistic our customers are. Yeah. Both the Equalogic customers and the Dell uh, compellent customers are thrilled with the products and thrilled with the support that they're getting from the support organization. So there's a lot of buzz here at the show. Where does, where does Compellent take Dell that, 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 that they couldn't go before? So you start, talk about solving problems. What kind of problems can you solve today with Compellent that you couldn't solve well, the, before? The thing that uh, really differentiates the, the Compellent product are, are a couple of things. One, it's a very scalable, very modular architecture so that you can uh, have a multitude of choices in terms of the input and output on the front end of the storage area network. And you also have just as many choices in terms of the kinds of disk technologies you can use to store data in the arrays. And that's a unique thing that allows us to go further into the enterprise. I think that's probably a, a great way to position what Compellent does is we can probably go further into the enterprise with the Compellent product. Mm -hmm. um, There's a lot of investment in the Ecologic platform as well mm -hmm. that's there going is. on. Can you there talk is. a little bit about that from your perspective and what that means to your channel partners? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, we've uh, been doubling our engineering and R&D efforts uh, around Ecologic for some time now. We're doing the same type of investment around the Compellent platform, and uh, we're going to continue to innovate. And one of the themes here that you see throughout is this concept of fluid. And uh, I think what you're going to see is more and more we're going to bring uh, really a seamless storage portfolio to our customers and to our channel partners uh, where they can engage with Dell across a broad line of storage uh, products and that it'll be this fluid technology and these products will work together. And uh, new innovation 
will work across all platforms. And that's pretty exciting. Um, and so as we embark on this transformational uh, mission uh, of Dell to become uh, more uh, thought leader and more innovative and uh, really a stronger enterprise player, this is a core part of that whole strategy. What um, the, the, the server platform together with the, with the storage makes, makes a nice uh, bundle to be able to go in. in uh, are most of your partners selling servers and storage today or are they, or some of them storage specific partners? We, we, we definitely have storage specific partners, but a huge percentage of those storage partners that we brought over through the Ecologic acquisition Mm -hmm. And I'll expect that we'll see the same with the compelling partners. I would think have so. now gone a lot wider mm -hmm. across a, a broad range of Dell products. Server certainly is a natural next step, but even into client products, desktops and laptops, and and networking and security products at Dell. Certainly, the storage server fit is really clean, and uh, yeah. we see a lot of partners doing both. Yeah, I would agree. I would echo what Bob just said. I've talked to a handful of partners that were only compellent partners maybe three or four months ago that are really excited now because they've now got a great storage platform to sell that's additional to the one they had before plus they've got servers and a whole host of other things like management software and you name it it's it's really been of one of the one of the most exciting things for me at this event yeah. has been talking to the compellent partners and so many of them are coming up to me this week and saying you know what we came in here a little bit unsure Okay. And now I get it, and now I see the opportunity. Right. This is exciting. Like Mike, Mike Luck, you guys know Mike Luck? He came, uh, yes. yeah, so he, Mike came up to me, and he told me he closed his first Ecologic deal. He's been Fantastic. a compelling partner for a while. Right. Thanks, so, Mike. Right. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Mike. <laughs> and it was an expansion of the opportunity. It wasn't a, right. if, if the, you know, it, it wasn't in lieu of, it was an expansion of the opportunity. So that's, that's great. Yeah, my uh, sense was that a couple months ago when the deal was announced, a lot of our partners and probably a lot of the existing Dell partners heard about this newer, bigger, better together opportunity and we're having a hard time putting tangible results yeah, to it. Yeah. Now they're starting to see that it's a really big opportunity. Yeah, and I, and I heard some concern around, you know, uh, how much was uh, they're going to continue to invest in the Ecologic platform, mm -hmm. things like that. I think Laz has done a good job of uh, dispelling some of that, uh, in, any of that concern. Yeah, Laz is a great man and that's a great engineering team up in Nashua, New Hampshire, and we are investing a tremendous amount around innovation uh, on our existing platforms, and then through acquisition, we're right. bringing new IP in. Yeah, just bring in a scalable file system. Absolutely. Right? So that's already in yep. that and the PowerVault line, eventually going to be in the Compellent line, maybe. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Data compression and deduplication with our Ocarina right. uh, investment. Yeah. When that comes to fruition, there's yeah. so much more on the horizon. Are you seeing a lot of demand for deduplication? that you'll be able to serve up with that? Is that Absolutely. Is that a, that's, it that's comes important. up a lot. Yeah, yeah very, very definitely. Important to yeah. How, soon, how soon do you want to see that come out? Yesterday. <laughs> Tomorrow or yesterday, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a, I'm sure it's a tough one to integrate, but, uh, but uh, you did the acquisition, you did the Ocarina acquisition? I think so that, that was 2010. Maybe, yeah. yeah, 2010, maybe uh, I forget around the July exact or month. so. Is that, yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. You know, it's, when you bring these, um, you know, intellectual properties, you have to do it right. Right. And that's the most important thing. Uh, it's not a race to get the technology out there. It's it's uh, it's a mission to get it out and get it right. Yeah. And bring incremental value to the products that we already have. And so that doesn't happen overnight. And and uh, and I think the team's making great progress. And we look forward to the. Yeah. product innovation that comes out of it. Yeah, yeah the startups don't uh, always test all the edge conditions completely, do they? So, no. but they but they do innovate faster, so, Absolutely. right? So, Absolutely. So, I think some of the core core we confidence some really exciting things about that Oak Arena yeah. technology this morning in the keynote. Did I, you? I was really excited to hear that there are unique algorithms okay. that mm -hmm. are are going to enable them to compress the data further than the run-of-the-mill algorithms that are right, on so, the market. So that'll help you against in deals where data data domains competing today or some of the others. I mean, It'll deliver a lot of uh, efficiency to customers that are replicating across oceans and yeah. so forth. It'll, right. it'll really be a helpful technology. Yeah, we think there's characteristics about this technology that are very unique yeah. in terms of the data du duplication and compression environment. And uh, we think that it could be a huge competitive advantage to Dell yeah. in the future. Uh -uh. Remote replication. Do you have do you have resellers that are really focused on delivering disaster recovery capabilities? And certainly, yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. A lot of small lot data of, centers. A lot of resellers that are providing uh, business continuity services, maybe in their data center, 
Uh, they're doing disaster recovery planning, business continuity, consulting, and application hosting. Yep. Hosting exchange. You're for selling customers. a lot into hosting providers. Right. Absolutely. Right. And right. and they could be large hosting providers, but very small boutique yep. uh, companies that might have a uh, you know a, a relatively small data center, but with all the you know power and cooling and redundancy that yep. you see in a big data center. And they're going out to these small and mid-sized customers, and they're providing right. hosting services and right. application hosting and uh, disaster recovery and backup, and you know a whole bunch of other uh, remote redundant uh, services to their customer base. It's, it seems like of, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Those, those kind of services, John, I think are where our channel partners really shine. You know, they've got the advantage of being able to look at all the technologies that are available in the marketplace and to deliver, you know, a unique approach to each customer that they talk to. And uh, now with Dell on this uh, acquisition path, acquiring all these great IP uh, technologies, they've just got more and more things to, to bring to solve problems, so it's exciting. And, and they can specialize. Absolutely. Uh, I, we have a partner that we've been working with for a long time down in the southeast that, uh, you know, they understand the railroad industry. Okay. End to end. They understand all the problems that the railroad industry is up against. They understand managing data in the railroad industry. They understand that brick and mortar in the railroad industry isn't a common thing. And so they provide a whole bunch of hosting and data center services to that whole industry uh, that are very unique and that you don't see a lot of companies doing. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what the channel community can bring, mm -hmm. is that level of specialization right. and intimacy but uh, in, in businesses. There are areas where Dell has a lot of competency in terms of some verticals. So you've been big in uh, in government and education and healthcare, healthcare education, right? You bet. So, Absolutely. But do you work through partners on that or do you work that direct? How does that? Both. Yeah. Both. Absolutely. Yep. Channel is involved across all segments, all market opportunities with Dell. Right. You know, I've, I've talked about this this week several times, but if you took our channel business and separated it from Dell as a standalone business, its own separate entity and yeah. its own company, it would be number 350 on the Fortune 500 list. Yeah. And so, and that would be a 100% channel company, 350 on the Fortune 500 list. So we're big in the channel and, and we're in a lot of places. There are a lot of conceptions around Dell and the channel. So, um, and, and we talked about Equalogic, we talked about Compellent, they were 100% channel right. uh, when, when they launched. That was from, from day one, I remember going to uh, C3 and you know it was all about enabling the delivery of solutions through the channel. Have 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 you educated Dell? Has Dell educated you? Yes, uh, both. Uh, t t Absolutely. How, how's that? I've been pleasantly surprised. I mean, I I uh, joined Dell on February 23rd, the yep. day after we were acquired, and. Uh, you read a lot of uh, things in the press that Dell's not that channel friendly, and frankly, I found the exact opposite to be true. This is a team that has deep uh, talent, broad talent. There are people that have a tremendous amount of experience with channel programs, understand the unique dynamics of how to go to market with channel models. Bob and his team have created a stellar channel program that uh, we rolled out on May 9th that I think is getting wide acclaim and uh, we've learned a lot from our colleagues in the channels organization at Dell and hopefully we've brought a couple of pieces of value along the way. We were thrilled that Dell decided to embrace Compellent's registration program advantages. We've got a new policy that's been spread across all of Dell storage called extended deal registration protection which recognizes that a reseller really makes a pretty big investment in time and money to go after new business, and if all they get is that first deal, yep. then they don't ever really get the full opportunity right. to get a return on investment. Right. So what we've done together is we've made it across the storage platform, our policy that when you win business for Dell Storage, you're going to be put in an advantageous position to keep the registration for that opportunity for as long a time as you keep that customer satisfied so that you've got a great chance to get an ROI. Great. As a reseller. Mike, Bob, thank you for joining me on theCUBE. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Pleasure. I really appreciate it. I appreciate getting the perspective on the Dell channel and uh, and how you guys are pulling it together. So Thanks. Thanks, for thanks very much. Have a great day. Okay. Take care. Take care. Bye -bye.